So how many of y'all checked the walls of your house when you bought it? Not many of us. And I say us because myself included. But you might want to check the walls, man. Check this out. Our house is supposed to be our safe space. Well, most of the time it is. But sometimes it becomes the place of horrific and bizarre discoveries. From terrifying finds to heartfelt historic letters, here are 20 strange things discovered behind homeowners' walls. Number 20. Hidden Neon Lights When renovating Lights. an old structure, like, say, for instance, an old cafeteria, you'd expect to see old wallpaper, dead vermin, or garbage while tearing down the walls. But the construction workers renovating Clifton's cafeteria in Los Angeles found something else. It wasn't anything sinister or horrific, but it still shocked the homeowners. It turned out that behind one of the cafe walls was a neon light that had been burning bright for an astonishing 70 years. Yes, you heard that right. 70 years. Clifton's is a slice of LA history, found by Clifford Clinton. Its only remaining branch, Clifton's Brookdale, is known for its unique interior, complete with fake trees and neon parrots. I guess it was only fitting that there was an undetected neon light hidden behind its walls. It was originally installed around 1935, and after 10 years, it was hidden away during a renovation. Perhaps the fault of this undetected illumination can be blamed on those who took care of the construction. After all, it was impossible to detect the neon light until 2010, when the cafe underwent renovation again. But the most surprising thing is that this decades-old neon light most likely contributed a staggering $17,000 to the electric bill. It's literally and figuratively a hidden charge. For a little fun fact, neon experts unanimously deemed this eternal neon as the world's oldest continuously lit neon light. In today's time, when LED lights are more prominent and in use, it's nice to uncover these old illuminations, but let's all remember that there's a reason neon lights became outdated. You see, neon lights can be quite harmful, not only to the environment, That's but also why. to humans. Aside from safety, LED lights have a higher life expectancy, deeming them a more quality investment. Before we go on, like this video, smash the subscribe button, and click the notification bell right now. Number 19, a six-year-old boy. In 2009, the discovery of a six-year-old boy baffled many across the United States. That's right, a young boy was discovered by the authorities concealed behind a fake wall in his very own maternal grandmother's home. Since 2007, the young boy was hidden away by his grandmother and mother from his father. The boy and his mom disappeared in November 2007 following a heated custody oh. battle between the two parents. Since the two fled, the young boy's father has never seen his son. An extensive search followed the boy's disappearance, which led them to the house of the young one's grandmother. Upon entering, authorities noticed a fake wall inside the house where, surprisingly, the child was hidden away. Mm. If it weren't for the authorities, the young boy and his father would not have had a chance to see each other again. Despite the bizarre circumstances, the boy was found unharmed, at least physically. You'll never know what the young child thought after living for two years in such a vague and unusual household with a bizarre dynamic. In the end, the six-year-old's mother was charged with felony child abduction, and his grandmother was seen as an accomplice and was charged with aiding and abetting. Luckily, the police claimed that despite living most of the past two years hidden away, the young boy was cheerful, friendly, and polite. Number 18. That still don't mean he gonna be messed up for life. He could be messed up, man. Uh, being hidden in a wall? Imagine what that do to you. Your psyche and... and oh, man. People are crazy. Letters from the First World War. In 2015, an unexpected discovery was found by a couple from Jasper, Indiana, precious remnants of the past. A man named Phil Matthews stumbled upon a treasure trove of World War I love letters hidden behind a wall in their attic. Phil and his wife had been planning renovations for a new bathroom and hired a contractor to fix the wiring. When the contractor finally began the construction, he stumbled upon several old and yellowed World War I love letters delicately preserved within the insulation of the attic wall. These letters, penned in July 1918, were written by a World War I soldier named Clements Berger to his sweetheart, Mary Borjo. Clements, who was in service and training in West Point, Kentucky at the time, expressed his fears of being deployed to the front lines and the possibility of never seeing his hometown or Mary again. After reading the letters, 
The couple's first thought was that they wanted to return the letters to their rightful owners. Of course, they also wanted to know what happened to the two lovers. Through the internet and with the help of other people, they managed to connect with Mary McCune and Nancy Tedder, nieces of Clements and Mary. The nieces were overjoyed and grateful for the discovery and preservation of these poignant pieces of family history. They revealed that Clements and Mary did indeed have their happy ending, marrying a year after the end of World War I in June 1919. Well, this was definitely a strange but heartwarming find. Number 17. A Mobster's Hidden Treasure mm. Frank the Breeze Calabrese Jr. is a known figure in the Chicago mob, similar to his father, Frank Calabrese Sr., who's known as Frankie Breeze. Both were renowned for their operation of loan shark networks and illegal gambling operations. Naturally, the entire Mafia family has amassed a lot of wealth while dabbling in unlawful activities. And so it was no surprise that a staggering $750,000 in cash was found hidden in a basement wall of the Oak Brook home where the family once lived. This occurred as part of Operation Family Secrets, a major investigation by the FBI into mob-related crimes in Chicago. So what are y'all doing? Y'all turning that in? Be honest. Are y'all put, put in a conversation? Will you turn that in? 750000 Would you turn it in? Which resulted in Calabrese's conviction and life sentence. The cash, consisting of rare $501,000 bills, was seized and auctioned by federal authorities. The U.S. Marshal Service sold 82 $500 bills and 43 $1,000 bills for more than their face value, making at least $84,000 and likely over $100,000 from the sale. This money, along with other seized property, including a thousand pieces of diamond jewelry, will be used to reduce Calabrese's court-impounded fines and restitution. How the money ended up behind the wall remains unknown, but I guess if you have a lot of money, you can just store it anywhere behind your house and forget about it. Number 16. 300-Year-Old Magic Shoe In 2016, a 300-year-old shoe was discovered by a maintenance crew at St. John's College, University of Cambridge. This historical artifact, estimated to be from the late 17th or early 18th century, was found hidden inside a wall. It's believed to be an example of apotropaic magic which is essentially a practice designed to bring luck and ward off evil. The shoe, despite its age, was incredibly well-preserved and was roughly equivalent to a modern-day men's size 6. The specific place where it was found also has significance, at least to people at the time. It was located between the chimney breast and the window, a spot traditionally thought to protect residents and keep evil spirits at bay. Such beliefs in ritual magic, while not extensively documented, were common in Europe from the 16th to the 19th centuries. Aside from shoes, those who lived in Europe used other items like dead cats and horse skulls, and these so-called witch bottles containing hair and urine were used for similar protective purposes. I'm pretty sure those among you who love history have already come across these past European traditions, so if you have other insights or macabre facts to share, feel free to do so in the comments. Now, speaking of macabre, here's another sinister find in Europe. Number 15. Mummified Cats If you love reading horror stories and classics, then perhaps you already know about Dracula, Bram Stoker's novel that skyrocketed the fame of vampires. Naturally, this discovery captured the attention of many across the globe, especially those fascinated by the macabre. In 2020, a mummified cat was discovered behind the walls of a home in Bistrida, a Transylvanian city mentioned in Bram Stoker's novel. The mummified cat, unearthed in the cellar of a house built in 1921, was found by a Berlin-based artist, Valentin, and his brother Adrian. Initially, the two mistook the mummified remains for a miniature sculpture of a tiger, only to realize later on that it was a cat's mummified remains after further inspection. As horrifying as it might be to other people, those who were into the macabre and like Dracula couldn't wait to get their hands on the mummified cat that was expected to fetch up to $1,500. This isn't the first time a mummified cat was discovered behind a wall. In 2009, a mummified cat was discovered behind a wall in a home in Devon. You see, in some European cultures, it was customary to place a dried or desiccated body of a cat inside the walls of a newly built home to ward off evil spirits or as a good luck charm. Well, that's not a very appealing tradition to me as a cat person. Luckily, no. we know about this tradition because it's been left behind in historical writing. Number 14. An Ancient Underground City 
1963, in the Turkish town of Derinkuyu, an extraordinary discovery was made by a local man who simply wanted to renovate his basement. What he found behind it was nothing short of astonishing, an entrance to a vast underground city, extending up to 18 stories deep and capable of housing up to 20,000 people. This subterranean complex is now known as the Derinkuyu Underground City, and since its discovery, it's been hailed as the largest community beneath the ground. The town of Derinkuyu lies within the historical region of Cappadocia in central Turkey, already renowned for its unique geological features, including fairy chimneys and soft volcanic rock known as tuff. The soft nature of this rock has allowed locals for millennia to carve out underground dwellings, storage rooms, temples, and refuges. Of these, let me ask y'all something. You find that in your behind your basement or walls or whatever, you find a little underground city. You reporting that? I, I, I don't know that I am. As bad as things is going on with all the wars and stuff like that or some type of virus hit and you got to go underground, you already got your spot. Nobody word knows about it. You're safe. Your family's safe. Like, I, I, I be trying to keep that to myself. Darren Kuyu is the most extensive with approximately 40 of these subterranean structures consisting of at least two levels. To this day, decades after this underground city was revealed, its history and construction remained somewhat mysterious. Archaeologists speculate that its oldest parts may have been dug around 2000 BC by the Hittites, or possibly around 700 BC by the Phrygians. There's also a belief that local Christians might have built or expanded the city in the first few centuries AD. The primary purpose of Derinkuyu was likely to provide refuge from enemy armies. This makes sense since the underground city has many defensive features, including massive rolling stone doors, which could be closed from the inside. The final additions and alterations to the complex, bearing a distinctly Christian imprint, are dated from the 6th to the 10th century AD, hinting that indeed the city was used by Christians as a safe haven. Everything See? they might need is already there. The city and they used it as a safe haven. Why not me? I'm going to do the same. I'm not telling nobody. Included living and sleeping quarters in its upper levels, while lower levels were used for storage and even contained a dungeon. There were also spaces for a wine press, domestic animals, a convent, and small churches, including a famous cruciform church on the seventh level. To sustain up to 20,000 people, the city was ventilated by more than 15,000 shafts ensuring sufficient air down to the eighth level. Some of these shafts also doubled as wells, unknowingly used by the local population of Derinkuyu for centuries. The underground city also served as a temperate refuge from the region's extreme seasonal weather. Below ground, the temperatures remained constant and moderate, ideal for storing harvest yield safely. Number 13. Animal Carcasses The Bretzius family expected a smooth home renovation in Schuylkill County, Auburn, Pennsylvania, but the simple construction took an unexpected turn when they discovered their house was insulated with dozens of dead animal carcasses. These remains were eerily wrapped in old newspapers and accompanied by half-used spices. What's strange is that they were hidden within the walls. This peculiar find in their seemingly ordinary home raised many questions. The animal carcasses, preserved uniquely, suggested forgotten practices or hidden stories deeply embedded within the house's structure. The inclusion of spices often used for preservation or in rituals, makes the discovery more chilling. The presence of spices, typically associated with preservation or ritualistic practices, sparked theories that the home might have been inhabited by someone who practiced rituals in the past. This revelation, entwined with the history and folklore of Schuylkill County, invites speculation and wonder about the past lives and stories that have unfolded within these walls. Number 12. Creepy Doll In Liverpool, a homeowner named Jonathan Lewis made an eerie discovery in his new home. While renovating, he found a creepy doll hidden inside a wall. The doll, named Emily, held a note claiming that she had stabbed the previous owners in 1961. The discovery, which could easily be the plot of a ghost story, has attracted significant attention. The letter simply read, My name is Emily. My original owners lived in this house in 1961. I didn't like them, so they had to go. All they did was sing and be merry. It was sickening. Stabbing was my choice of death for them, so I hope you have knives. Well, that's creepy. The doll Beyond. was concealed behind a boarded up wall, and its presence was utterly unexpected. 
The note accompanying Emily added to the spine-chilling nature of the find, suggesting a dark and possibly violent past associated with the doll. Despite the creepy nature of this discovery, Lewis seemed to take it in stride. By the looks of the doll, it seems like it's not genuinely from the 1960s and was simply propped up as a prank. Lewis's friends, however, were alarmed and urged him to sell the house and move out. Exactly. Honestly, I do the same. Number 11. Hidden Ouija Board Now, oh, in this no. discovery that, again, seems straight out of a horror movie, a construction worker stumbled upon a century-old Ouija board hidden within a heating vent. This unexpected find occurred during renovation work in an old house where the Ouija board, aged and upside down, was used to block the airflow in the vent. The discovery of this spirit board, synonymous with contacting the dead, was a shocking find that was enough to scare the workers. Yeah, you sell the house. No questions asked. You don't, you don't question anything. You find that, you sell the house. Point blank, period. Was it placed there deliberately by a previous occupant to conceal it? The worker, upon finding the board, couldn't help but wonder where the planchette, the moving pointer used in Ouija sessions, was hidden. This discovery, shared on social media, captivated the imaginations of many, with people speculating about the board's origins and the reason behind its secretive placement. Ouija boards, often linked to the supernatural, have a storied history of being used for communicating with spirits. Finding one concealed in a home structure can evoke a range of emotions, from curiosity to unease. This particular board, having spent decades hidden behind the wall, serves as a reminder of the mysterious and sometimes unsettling histories that old buildings can harbor, unseen to their current occupants. Number 10. Letter in a Milk Bottle During a home renovation in Newcastle on the New South Wales Mid-North Coast, Matt Streetfield made a nostalgic discovery, a message from the past concealed within the walls of his home. Hidden between two walls was a glass milk bottle nearly half a century old, holding a letter dated April 5, 1974. The letter, penned by the plasterers who originally constructed the walls, offered a glimpse into the life and times of Australia during that period. Streetfield, intrigued by this unexpected find, went a step further. He managed to track down one of the original authors of the note, now a 66-year-old named Ron Nidri. The letter detailed the daily realities of the time, including the plasterers waiting for their weekly wage of $106 from Newcastle Interior Linings, a company that some of you might recognize. After all, it withstood the rising and falling market and is still in operation today. Number 9. Explosive Remnant of the Past Now here's an explosive discovery, quite literally. A couple in Newport News, Virginia found a World War II-era explosive device inside the wall of their home while undergoing renovations. The device, identified as an M660 caliber bazooka anti-tank rocket, was Jeez. safely removed by bomb squad crews and handed over to the military. This incident prompted the involvement of the Newport News Fire Department and specialized bomb squads, who responded to the home to ensure safety. If the rocket had exploded, it could have caused significant damage to the property and posed a serious threat to human life. So if you just moved into a new home and find something similar to a missile, you might want to take proper precautions. Number 8. An Arachnophobe's Nightmare In Weldon Spring, Missouri, the Out of everything on this list, this right here? Oh, yeah. yeah. Yeah, I'm burning it down, bro. All the way to the ground. I'm burning it down. Suburb of St. Louis. A family found themselves in quite a frightening ordeal. Brian and Susan Trust bought a $450,000 home in 2007, only to find themselves in a living nightmare with thousands of venomous brown recluse spiders. The situation was so severe that Susan Trust once had to dodge a spider while it fell from the ceiling and washed down the drain during a shower. The infestation was so overwhelming that even two pest control companies failed to eradicate it. This wasn't just a minor inconvenience. It was an absolute invasion, making the house uninhabitable. After countless attempts to solve the infestation, the couple filed a claim in 2008 with the insurance company State Farm, and even sued the home's previous owners for not disclosing the brown recluse problem. It was their last resort. No one should be sold a house with a severe infestation. No. In fact, in a civil trial in 2011, a biology professor estimated that there were between 4,500 and 6,000 spiders in the home. This estimate was made during the winter when the spiders were usually less active. 
suggesting that the actual number could have been even higher during other seasons. Despite the jury awarding the couple slightly more than $472,000, the situation didn't resolve smoothly. The former owners declared bankruptcy, and the insurance company paid nothing. The couple ultimately had to move out. The house, later owned by the Federal National Mortgage Association, had to be covered with nine tarps, and workers filled it with a gas that permeated the walls to kill the spiders and their eggs. Number 7. Two-Way Mirror in Arizona, a family's new home turned into a horrific place to be. Annabelle Mickelson and her family, excited about their new home, stumbled upon something that would terrify even the bravest people. An oddly placed mirror in their bathroom, which upon closer investigation, turned out to be a two-way mirror. Along with the two-way mirror, no. the family found wires for hooking up video equipment. Imagine their shock. A house with a hidden surveillance system in their own bathroom. Annabelle mentioned that the house was known to have been involved with a cartel and had a reputation as a party house. Well, that kind of backstory is definitely enough to convince most people to sell the house and look for another place to live. Number six. See, that's what I'd be worried about in these Airbnbs. Stuff like that. You don't know nothing about the home. You're going to rent it out to stay there for a weekend or a week or however long. And they can have something like this set up and be watching you the whole time and filming it. A heartfelt welcome message. Now this is the kind of thing I want to see if I ever move into a new home. In 2021, after buying a home, the new occupants found the sweetest and kindest message. It was a short and sweet statement hidden on the pantry wall. The family claimed that upon seeing the message, their young daughter even had goosebumps and became a bit teary-eyed. The message simply said, This home has many wonderful memories. We lived, loved, laughed, cried, and played here. We pray you will, too. God bless. Now, who wouldn't be touched by this message? This is how you know that a home was loved and taken care of. Knowing that the past homeowners filled the home with loving and positive energy means that the house will surely be a great home. Number 5. Mysterious Oil Nearly a decade ago, this seemingly ordinary house in Sydney shot to fame, or rather infamy, due to claims that it had walls weeping with mysterious oil, purported to have healing powers. But what could be the source of such a mystical phenomena? The homeowners, George and Lena, believed that this mysterious oil first began to appear in 2008 after a tragic event that would break any parent's heart. Their 17-year-old son, Mike, was killed in a car accident. They see this oil as a manifestation of their son's spirit. It's said that this oil performs miracles, from helping desperate couples conceive to curing all sorts of illnesses. With the owners not charging money to visitors, many believe that their intentions are pure, and they genuinely believe in the miracle of the oozing liquid in their home. Number 4. Burger King In 2022, a Burger King outlet was discovered hidden behind a wall in a shopping mall in Delaware. The outlet was akin to a time capsule that was from 1987. This vintage fast food relic, a snapshot of the 1980s was found by a vendor at the mall and has since captivated the internet with its nostalgic charm. Perfectly preserved, the restaurant features retro wall decor, wooden booths, and old soda machines, all evoking the era of its heyday. Number 3. A Bee Colony In a seemingly ordinary house, a discovery was made that was anything but typical. A massive seven-foot-tall beehive cleverly concealed behind a wall. The only clue the homeowners had about the existence of this hive was the buzzing and humming sound that piqued the curiosity of the homeowners. They initially suspected it could be a beehive, a detail that didn't faze them. It was only when bees began emerging through the cracks in the shower tile that they decided to call a beekeeper. Now can you imagine the questions that ran through the homeowners' minds? How long has this hidden ecosystem been thriving undetected? Well, the sheer size of the hive suggested it had been growing for years quietly expanding behind the scenes of everyday life. The removal of the hive required careful planning to ensure the safety of both the bees and the homeowners. The Specialists bees. were called in, including wildlife experts. They extracted an estimated 100 pounds of honey. The beekeepers approximated that the hive housed between 60,000 and 80,000 bees. Fortunately, the lead beekeeper took the bees to their property, ensuring they would have suitable hives. In the end, the seven-foot beehive was successfully removed, seven but it cost over $1,000 and left the shower somewhat destroyed. Number 2. 
a bird's hoard. If there's one thing you won't expect to see behind the wall of your home, <laughs> it's probably 700 pounds of acorns. But that's exactly what a couple in California discovered behind the walls of their home. The Yo. couple had an exterminator come in to inspect for mealworms. Imagine their surprise when they discovered 700 pounds of acorns, all collected by an acorn woodpecker. Just a lone bird trying to stock up for the upcoming winter. The exterminator... For the winter? That bird was trying to stock up for the apocalypse, bro. <laughs> Look at that. ...claimed that the woodpecker had built this remarkable stockpile for at least two to three years. The acorns had been falling into a wall cavity where the bird couldn't access, so it continued to fill the gap with more acorns, unaware of the accumulating mass inside the wall. While some people joked that the bird had more savings than them, others Fast. hoped the acorns would be returned to the hard-working woodpecker. Unfortunately, the acorns had to be discarded due to contamination from fiberglass and rat droppings. However, the woodpecker likely had more reserves stashed in nearby trees. Hopefully, it's hard to imagine the poor bird starving through winter and fall. And now it's time for today's topic. Most of us visit the new house we'll be living in not only to inspect it and decide whether the price is justifiable, but also to sense the energy of its rooms. After all, our gut has a remarkable ability to offer insights into whether a place might be considered dangerous. This man notices strange marks on his walls. Then his gut tells him to look closer, and so he goes closer. He notices that one part of the wall is hollow and decides to knock it down. He didn't expect to find an entire room hidden behind the wall that the landlord didn't inform him about. It had no windows, but was otherwise in good condition, and even had a small bathroom with plumbing. It was as if it was made for an unseen guest. Quite creepy, don't you think? If yes. you were the one who experienced this, would you tell the landlord, or just make use of the room without informing them? Number 1. Terrifying Painting Imagine you've been living in your house for four decades. You wouldn't think that there's nothing else in your house that you don't know about, right? But sometimes, people discover the weirdest things in their house despite living there for most of their lives. For instance, this year, a homeowner baffled the internet with a painting he found behind the wall of his house. The man was quite gobsmacked upon seeing this spooky and cursed-looking painting, an old man with no eyes. And while he claims that he wasn't terrified of the painting, he feels a very bad energy from it. And so, he keeps it behind closed doors, for now. Moreover, the only information about the painting was its creator and the date it was possibly created, Frederick, 1972. What would you do if you discovered a sinister painting like this? I would probably try to move, if possible. I've seen enough horror movies, and I wouldn't be able to stop myself from overthinking. Now I'm wondering if there are hidden things around my house that I'm yet to discover. Hopefully there's no creepy doll or World War missile behind my walls.